Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated September 26, 2022. Indian equity markets declined today due to weak global queues. Nifty opened gap down around 17,150 and managed to make a day high of 17,196. After that heavy hammering was seen in the market. At the time of close Nifty managed to close just above 17,000. Similarly Sensex tanked down almost 953 points to give a closing of 57,145. Talking about sectors, all sectors ended in red except Nifty IT which ended with a slight gain of 0.57%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are HCL Tech, Infosys, and Asian Paints. Out of these, two are from IT sector. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 1.14%, 1.29% and 1.36% respectively. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks, which ended as top losers. They are Adani Ports, Tata Motors, and Hindalco. They fell within the range of 5.85% to 6.35% respectively. Talking about the recent developments in the corporate segments we have, Tube Investments of India has acquired Mosheim Electronics for Rs 7.38 crore. It has bought 20 lakhs 66,628 equity shares or 76% stake in Mosheim, and with this, Mosheim has become a subsidiary of the company. Swastik Pipe Limited has fixed the price brand of 97 rupees to 100 rupees per equity share for its forthcoming public issue on NSE emerged through the book building route. The issue size comprises issuance of up to 62.52 lakhs equity shares of the face value of 10 Indian rupees each fully paid up shares through the book building process. Bank of India is down for a fifth straight session today. The stock is quoting at 47.85 rupees, down 4.2% around 2 pm on the NSA. Bank of India has lost around 5.99% in last one month. The volume in the stock stood at 23.13 lakh shares today, compared to the daily average of 40.72 lakh shares in last one month. 